Good morning, good morning, and good morning. Hope you're having a good morning. Well, and then I have a beautiful walk outside. As you can see, it's a much nicer day. It's still a little cool. Got my jacket on, my hat. Keep me uh, toasty. Some hot coffee to get me started. Hope you have something to get your day started with. It's nice to get your day started off right. And pretty skies, beautiful walk with my puppy dog and some warm co hot coffee. That's the way I like to get it started. <clears throat> so we've been talking about artificial intelligence. And uh, I think I want to do two more on this subject. Uh, maybe. But one of them I definitely want to talk about is, so we talked about agency, you know, making sure that the AI feels like it's on my side, not somebody else's side. And we talked about how, uh, or at least part of my pack, part of uh, what I want to be, the what direction, not just me, but the people like me. So we talked about that, you know, and how we kind of related a little bit to uh, puppy dogs and uh, desire to be uh, in a group. Now let's talk about, well, what if you can't do that? What if you can't do the I'm on your side, but you want, how do you get something beyond that? Let's talk about that for a minute. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people right now have a bad, bad take on shut up and listen to the experts. <clears throat> I understand why they say that. Because oftentimes, experts are really um, good at helping us decide things and, and pointing us in the right direction. But that's not always the case. Now... That being said, there is off the the biggest problem with experts is they have to err on the side of no advice unless I'm absolutely sure. Now that's hard because like we went through the uh, our little fun stuff with uh, the uh, uh, shall not be named virus. So we have, but the experts need to say something. Whoops, hold on a sec. My puppy dog popped my thing around a little bit. <clears throat> Let me see I adjust it here. Oh. Luna didn't like the camera angle. She had to give me a new camera angle. Because in, in that case, we had, you know, lives on the line. So, you know, yeah, can, yeah, you know, sometimes you have to take a little leap of faith in a certain direction. But there's a lot of times when experts <laughs> tell you things and um, you know they're they don't have the facts right or they're taking a guess and they don't tell you they're taking a guess there's this kind of feeling of if i show uncertainty and doubt you will use that against me and say even the experts don't know but if they do that, 
you're more likely to trust them if they're having an honest conversation with you. I'll give you an example. I've used this example before in my stuff about uh, solar power. I remember watching uh, a video and they said, we're going to have an expert on and his he has a degree in, in uh, uh, power technology. And if you looked at the little side area, it, his degree wasn't in electrical engineering or something like that. It was it was geo uh, sustainability and stuff like that. But he had this degree, right? So you should listen to him. I'm not uh, an expert in solar power. See, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not an expert. But I bought solar panels. I bought battery for my house. So I, I've invested money into this technology. Uh, and I have been reading up on it and listening to a lot of the experts about things, especially before I put down all that money. Because it was a big chunk of money that I put down for that. <clears throat> So, all that being said, I'm listening to this guy, and what he says about solar is accurate. I can't get my doggy's boat. Oh, jeez. Okay. But tells the solar picture stuff. Actually, later on, I actually found out some of that stuff that he said was not actually 100% true either. But he tells a solar story. And it's rosy picture. But then the question comes up, I got solar energy over here, but I don't need it right away. And the lights go down or it becomes cloudy. But... I need the energy, and he no, you just slap battery over there. That's no problem. That is a huge problem. Storage is a huge, huge problem with solar and wind. We do not have batteries. We do not have the material to make batteries. We need to mine, smelt, refine a lot of raw materials, and we have to huge, we have to create huge factories in order to make those batteries. And he just said, "Man, eh, you just put it over there. No biggie." And that's enormous a cost, an enormous amount of technology that we have yet to get refined and fixed. How could he have done it better? He could have said, and this would be honest, we've got, done a really good job at creating solar panels that are highly efficient and produce a lot of energy. The storage part of the picture is something we know, know how to tackle technologically, but we need industry to step up and help us produce the storage technology to take all that energy and keep it for us. That is something we need to work on. He had said that, I would have trusted him. He didn't say that. He, la I won't say he laughed it off, but he's like, yeah, you just put some batteries over there and store it. It's not a big deal. No. So there you go. That's one of the key things. So we talked about agency where you're like Luna here, where her and I, I know that dog is my my friend and she knows I love her. 
And then there's people that I trust as part of my pack because they, they're very interested in what I'm interested in. There's a lot of similarities in those people I want to represent me and I, I have no problem working with. And then you have the experts, the people that are outside my area. Guys, it's tough. And there's a lot of jabronis out there that don't know what they're talking about. I mean, a lot. And there's a lot that became experts. But now life has changed. And they don't keep up. I'm in a technology field. I can, I see this all the time. Brilliant people, smart as could be. And they just don't want to keep up with change or they want everything to stay the same. It's actually damaged me in my career that I have gray hair because they'll see me and they go, oh, and there's a good chance that he just wants to program like he did in 1992. It's not true. And she's barking at something. I can't even see what she's barking at. Wasn't too happy about it, that's for sure. Oh, oh, shoot. I hit the top of the roof. Sorry about that, Luna. Not a very good throw. You want to throw it down for me to get again? No, shit. Damn it. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, my my button came off. My coat. I have to find an expert to fix it. <laughs> Come back here. She's got me going today. All right. So. An AI uh, or experts who keep up and tell the truth, they will win people over. But it takes time. It takes a long time. There are very few people who can say they've been consistent and caring and, and moving forward with technology for 20, 30 years. Those are the people you want to listen to. They're hard to find, even harder to find in an artificial intelligence. Because haven't been doing that much AI lately. But that's what it has to happen. If we can't do the other two, then it has to be an expert that we don't see those holes like I can see. And you'll be like, ah, and what if uh, somebody makes up those holes, fakes those holes? True, that can happen. It is a possibility. We have to deal with it. It's possible to have experts that we trust. There are areas and agencies, even in the federal government, that we trust. There's a, an accounting department that goes, looks over plans and oftentimes really pisses off the politicians because they'll say, how much is this really going to cost? Offices of Budgets and Management. Guess what? We trust them. 
Why? Because it seemed to piss off both sides of the party. They actually, and what when they come up with something, it sounds like they actually took the numbers and tried to make a true analysis. Parks in the U.S. The people that run the parks in the U.S. are awesome. We trust them. Not only that, we love them. So, let's hope, Luna, that we can get a lot more agencies like that that our AI program can tap us into. But I'm going to leave you that for now. Like I said, maybe one more on this. We'll see. But you guys have a wonderful day. Find somebody you trust. Talk to you later.